Entering another building, we're greeted with this. The black things on the floor are all decimeters. Thermal luminescent decimeters that are used for personal decimetry. Now let's walk up, let's see what else we can find. It says stop, no entry, but let's go on and check out what's there. Novel radiation levels 0.2 microsievert power, even lower than uh, the levels outside because this is still the Pripyat area. So the building does some good shielding, but let's see what we can find inside the building. Dark hallways. Lots of papers on the floor here. Random papers. Let's check them out. What may they be? Something about fission, nuclear fission. What's this one? This one seems to be instructions on how to use protective equipment and or a Geiger counter. And that one? Hey, I have that one at home. That's why I found it so cool. That's the manual for one of the decimeters that I have at home. Yay. What else is here? Just another room with random amounts of stuff. But some of them prove to be interesting. Some random drunk electronics, bottles, papers, whatever. But let's see what else there is. This is an industrial uh, Russian smoke detector. It contains plutonium. Plutonium 238. Works the same way as the americium smoke detectors. But yeah, I think it's pretty cool. A plutonium containing smoke detector. You can see the source on the top. Behind that grid. Um, yeah, just randomly measuring, taking pictures at the window or where the window used to be. Hmm. That's open from 5 to 7. But what was open? We'll never know, I guess. Let's see what else we can find in these dark hallways, in these dark rooms. Random stuff. I have no idea what that is. You can see that's a Gaga Millitude that has been just stomped on, which is kind of heartbreaking. And there's lots more stuff, which you just have to stomp on, I guess, because uh, the whole place has been raided, as it seems. So, let's go in and see if there's anything of interest for us. Lots of random electronics. You really got to keep your eyes open in order to make out anything of interest. Some random electron tubes, something in that box over there. Shelves. Wait, what's that in the middle? What's this thing? I think we know it. We've seen that before. Yep, that's one of these smoke detector sources. Not just a plutonium source in there, just in the middle. And there seems to be the cover of that smoke detector. Yep, that's the cover. So there's randomly plutonium scattered across the floor here. Well, that's interesting, I guess. What else do we have here? What are these boxes? Hmm, random electronic equipment. What's, what's in this? Nothing. Entirely nothing. But what used to be in there? What we can see here is it was a beautiful, large, awesome scintillation counter. Just another radiation detector. Why are there radiation detectors everywhere? Scattered among random electronics, or seemingly random electronics. What's this place all about? Very curious. Just gonna stroll around. Oh, that's just some capacitors or something. And the box is totally moist. It breaks easily. Well, stuff here seems to be random electronics. I guess. Alright, let's check out another room, I guess. Seems pretty empty, not much on the floor here. Let's just walk in and see. Well, that seems to be a large-ass radiation storage. Hmm. 
What kind of sources do they have in there? There are some signs on still. Indicating the activity of the storage sources even. It's so awesome. I really start to wonder where all those sources have gone to. Who took them and where to and what for. All empty. Just the signs. To the power of six just the signs are still there. That's a mega big row of whatever kind of substance was stored there. One million decays a second. Curious if that is BSO on there or if it's actually BCO, like, or 6CO, like the cobalt isotope, cobalt 60, which we found in another dump yard randomly before. I don't know. I don't know at all. Let's proceed, I guess. There's nothing we can find here. All empty. And yes, I did check with the Geiger counter pretty much everywhere, but uh, if I would show you every Geiger counter reading, which at any point was entirely normal, this video would be like another 10 minutes longer, so that wasn't worth it. As I said, Geiger counter readings are entirely normal at any point in time. Except, of course, when measuring the plutonium sources, but that was all for now. And this, obviously, is a room full of radiation detectors. Those are large pancake detectors, for example, but all broken. You can see the windows are totally shattered. What a shame. But yeah, on the floor, you can see all these beautiful uh, gamma and beta gamma probes here. Giga Miller tubes. They're just mostly shattered. Some of them are okay, but yeah, they're just scattered around this random junk of electronics, which is not of much use, I guess, but amongst them are these wonderful Giga Miller tubes. You can see all over the place there. Look at them. There must be hundreds of them. The people who raided the place didn't know what it was, so they just stomped on it. Oh well, my heart is broken. And this is a medical cabinet to fix my heart. Otherwise I wouldn't have made it out alive out of that hell of broken detectors. So, let's move on. After taking some heart medication. Here's a little TV. Well, not really TV, just a tube, TV tube, but that's probably an oscilloscope or so. And every once in a while you will find these dark places. You just have to have a very powerful torch and then make your way in them. The only thing I was really scared of and there's some animal hiding in there, actually. Oh man, I'm shit scared of rabies. But I'm too curious to be scared here, I guess. There's a random helmet on the right. Let's see what else there is. Just like random junk, but of course I gotta check out the far corner of this room. Just to make sure. Even though I'm entirely surrounded by darkness now. But my torch is powerful. Let's see what's in the shelves over there. I spotted some huge as light bulb. So I just want to check that out. Let's see. There it is. Quite nice, I guess. I guess uh, only good if you're running nuclear power reactors. Otherwise, that shit costs like, I don't know, it consumes probably two watts or so. Or more, I don't know. Yep, another one of these radioactive nost boxes. I mean, radioactive. What was in there? Well, what is in there? Strange. Amongst this random junk, you all of a sudden find a box that says radioactive material. 
That's just, I don't know. But of course I gotta check it out. Here you can see entirely normal readings on the Gamma Scout. 4.07 microsievert per hour. That's like back at home. <laughs> it's entirely normal. Nothing worrisome at all. And of course the box is empty. What did you expect? Nothing in here. Entirely nothing. And again, the place looks raided, so that's not too surprising. Of course, I keep looking in just in case the sources are below the box or something. But maybe the sources were of interest, so they were taken by people. I don't know. I have no idea what happened to the content of that box. So, let's see what else we can find. Endless amounts of paper in this room. Really old-fashioned printer paper. Like these kind of needle printers that made a lot of noise when printing. Fun stuff. This one seems to have more like radio equipment or something. Uh, besides the paper, of course. But there's a wonderful tube in the shelf there on the right. You can see it. Uh, only this. I was just uh, watching my step and not really minding the camera. Fragile. Fragile contents in that box? No, nope, no contents in that box at all. Why is there such an insane amount of radiation detection equipment in this building anyway? What did they do here? And maybe there are other areas that we're yet to explore. Maybe there's a basement full of radioactive stuff. We could suggest so. I mean, what are those radiation detectors for? Let's see what doors we may open in the future.